FTW Broadcasting here for the win. We bring you Hot StarCraft 2 action. Thanks for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen, because we've got another troll cast for, for you. It's going to be a 4v4. My name's AWOL, and joining me, as always, is my boy, Danny. I'm going to get with the introductions, because we got eight kids here. Green Protoss, Bido Taco. I'm sure that's the pr correct pronunciation. Okay, we've got a name here. I can't even pronounce. Pink Terran is his name. Moving up to Orange Protoss, Relative Wind. I can roll with that. That is English. Moving up here to the Yellow Terran, Kragus. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, we got another 4v4. Danny, you want to introduce your team? Yeah, absolutely. I see uh, right here we have Blue Terran, the big S. That's the big S, not just any old big S. So keep that in mind. Moving over to <laughs> Douche Nukem. Very, that is clever. What is going on in the chat box? My beard was itchy. Somebody sucks at something. What is going on? It's, it's, uh, they're telling, this is a bunch of 17-year-olds telling 11-year-old jokes over chat. Oh, okay. Moving right along to the Purple Zerg, TG, T, TG bit, I don't know, Purple Zerg. Or again, another, what, Get Arts? Okay, Get Arts, the Red Terran. Um, we're bound to see some epic, epic noobness here, because I can't <laughs> even pronounce everyone's name. Um, uh, I'm afraid you're mistaken, that's Clan Y Get. And this is Arts, is his name, and uh, he's professional. Oh, well, what do I know? <laughs> Barely anything at all. Yep, so apparently my team, Douche Nuke was talking about how he was uh, six-pooling. I don't believe that's what he's doing. What is, relative wind's gone way up here to block off this, uh, this choke point here, so not a bad choice. He's got his forge down in his gateway. They likely may, we might see a you know, Forge Fast expand from him or something nuber. Uh, Forge Fast. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it should be a Forge Fast expand, but yeah, let's see how that turns out. By the way, Pink Terran right now is proxying it up over here on the right hand side of the map. He's got his racks flying up to the high ground. He's got his other racks flying up there, and it looks like he's planning on a super rush, but it looks like Douche Nukem is spotting this thing before it even lands. Yeah, he's doing a good little scouting. He says he's. He saw a forge from somebody. I guess he is doing a little bit of scouting thing all around the base. Scouting very important in a 4v4 because you got to see what kind of cheese your opponents are doing because they are doing some kind of cheese. They are. They are. Oh, he finally notices that he got spotted. And uh, I see a worker conga line over here on the left-hand side of the map. We have uh, two SCVs and a probe chasing down this one enemy drone. That drone is paying for himself right now with three workers not mining to take oh, it out. Oh, that, that was a shame to see that happen. That was a really nice little dance they were doing, though. I like that. Nice. little worker, con worker conga line, you said. Proxy yeah. Rax is on the way. Um, the jig is up on there with the, uh, the Proxy Raxes, though, so I don't know how well they're going to work. What exactly... He's kind of an odd spot to put his proxy rex. He's got to break these uh, rocks to even get where he needs to be. No, th that's what he's going to do. He's going to max out up here. He's going to max up with an army of like 200 marauders and marines. Oh, he's going reapers is what he's going. Okay. So he's going to build up a bunch of reapers on the high ground. Because it's up on the high ground, his buildings will be protected in the meantime, and the reapers can jump down. All right, fairly well, well thought out. Okay, I'll give him some credit because, you know, reapers are the backbone of any late game army too, so that'll be good. Yes, troll castable for sure. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, but here late in the game, the Reaper is up, and it's uh, going to go start taking out some SCVs, so maybe it's going to work out a little better than we thought. Maybe we are newer than the people we cast, you know what I'm saying? I God, think that's definitely for house. sure. Oh, yeah. That now, took a long time, time before those SCVs uh, ran oh. off. Oh, God, did it. That was such a delayed reaction. Kill him. WTF. And here comes another Reaper. Oh, yeah, he's just throwing grenades down on that supply depot. Better get the snacks out of there first before it blows up. Wow. Wow, look at those Marines trying to get up there. No vision. They're standing there getting picked off. That is some nice work by Red. <laughs> that is very good for uh, Mr. Y Gets. He's got the energy for a scanner sweep, too. Ah, forget about it, uh, he says. He doesn't know. He's just going to drop some more uh, mules. Oh, yes, ping. Ping the, ping the map more. Where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> Where? Oh, man. Good times. Good oh, times. man. This, this Reaper, this proxy Reapering is actually turning out to very, very well because Red, just, I don't think he understands that he can scan. He doesn't. He doesn't at all. Overlord Purple, okay, no problem. Got more, oh, that Reaper, a little bit of missed micro there, but there's still two up on the high ground just causing havoc right now. They're just outside of range. 
And if they just pick off one Marine at a time, they can continue to move forward. Yeah, and no, oh, no, oh, bad, a little bad, Michael. Drop down, getting hit, running into the queen. Get, is he just gonna scan her? Just scan. Come on, just scan. Nah, he d he's waiting for his ally to bring over overlords. Here they come. This could spell the end of these reapers. Most likely it will. But you know what? It's been fun in the meantime. We yeah. got two corp corporals. Oh, one corporal. Yeah, that's pretty good. But meanwhile, I'm they're just going to let him be there, I guess. They're not going to move in with the overlords. And Finally, the uh, Marine can finally take down the reaper. Both reapers go down. Oh, wow. That oh. was intense. That was an intense situation of a, just extreme, extreme proneness. And uh, let's take a look at Douche Nukem. Evidently, he's got a thing for the ladies because he's built nothing but queens here. And these queens are straight beast, and here come more queens. And the production tab has two more. Seven queens, two queens. Of the Why does he need that many queens? You see lots of uh, creep tumors going down, a very nice creep uh, super highway going, but I can't see a need for th seven or nine queens, I guess, when you only have two hatcheries. He's not larvaing up either, so I guess it, well, I guess if you're only producing queens, they're going to eat up a ton of resources. So, uh, all right, mass queens, let's see how that turns out. He's going to need to spread that creep super highway beyond his uh, own base, so uh, that's not going to work out. Well, I don't know. I, I have heard of the mass queens before. I've seen it before. With transfusion, they can be a real pain in the butt to deal with. But actually, I love it. I love this plan. I think it's brilliant. It is brilliant. It's, it's perfect, in fact. And uh, looks like uh, our boy Pink Terran is trying to bust through these rocks. He's going to bring this massive force that he was building up because with this proxy. And he's going to get the early attack in there at the nine and a half minute mark. Wait, wait, when you say massive, you're talking about those three marauders and two marines? Well, that had to be his plan was to mass up here. And uh, this is his mass. It's critical mass. It oh, is. we got mutilists on the way from the purple zerg. I guess that's what he was doing this whole time. He's got a couple of mutilists here, about six. Quick, quick mutilus. Actually, pretty impressive how quickly he got those out. It is. It is. He tanked straight up to it. No pressure. And it, well, he got his expansion as well, which helped him out. And now these mutas are going to move in on, on this completely vulnerable base of Beto Taco. Get out of there, Taco. He's just letting his probes get... Yeah, just no, no, no reaction from Mr. Taco <laughs> there. Or just let all of Ow. his probes die. Ow. Does Ow. he even aware that that's happening? Wow. Ow. Okay, there we go. He, he saved three of them. Douche Nukem is getting killed right now, and uh, all of his queens got annihilated. We totally missed it. We totally missed it. Oh, uh, I was watching those mutilists totally kill the... Uh... What can I say? We missed it. So, Mass Queens is maybe not the best plan. I assume his transfusion micro is uh, faulty. Well, I mean, the force that came in here from yellow and from orange, I mean, this is massive. Uh, Douche Nukem tried to get all those workers out. Will they survive? Cancel that hatchery before it goes up. But the blue, his blue Terran buddy is here to help. He's right. here to help. The, the big uh, S is here. He but, oh, the big S is just, I don't know what the big S is doing. But they finally get out mass marines to deal with that push. And Douche Nukem is in a little bit of trouble here. But right back to it. Production trap. Three queens. Sticking with it. I like it. That's really, really important. And uh, right now, these mutas are now wreaking havoc on these zealots that came in. Oh, Taco's zealots went down. Taco, I think, in my opinion, he, I think he's the worst. I guess we'll see how that plays out as the game moves on. Yeah, meanwhile, Relative Wind with his mass, uh, massive amount of stalkers is just moving in on the big S here. Relative Wind and uh, Kragus appear to be playing pretty straight up, just massing units and uh, throwing wave after wave of them at them. Here comes some uh, mutilists straight into those stalkers. Not a good idea. Those mutilists will tear those... Or those stalkers will tear those mutilists right up. But here come the mass marines. Those stalkers have got to get out right now. A nice, uh, actually kind of a nice army comp here from uh, my team, forcing those stalkers out. But then the mutilists just stand there when after the marines backed up. Very nice. Oh, no. Oh, no. The mutas are getting murdered. That was four mutas went down. And now the marines are streaming in a little bit. Wow, look at the micro look between blue and purple. They microed it so that there was only one army attacking them at any given time during that exchange. That, that was, was really fabulous. good. Yeah, that was really, really impressive to uh, have that level of, you know, trickling with your units. You just <laughs> don't see that that level of play very often. Yeah, I think you have to buy one of those strategy guides like Shocks or the one that you could buy with the game to, to get that kind of protect. Oh, oh, yeah, I got that one. It, came, it was 30% off with the purchase of the game. Oh, awesome. Uh, did it come with a sticker? Uh, I think so, yeah. Oh, that... 
Pink Terran in bad in a bad spot here. Decided to run away. Kind of did a little balk and then decided to stay. So he lost a good bit of his uh, army before he even started attacking. Not uh, not the wisest move. Lost everything there. His proxy, ma his mass proxy force. Sad to see it go because he's about to lose his barracks. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there's there, there's no getting away. And he's got tons and tons of Marines queued up here. He's slowly canceling them out. But uh, none of them are going to come out. Yeah, just cancel it all. Yes, it's going to fly away. The Mutas aren't going to get it. Yo, what is going on here for Orange? Orange just still with the massive stalkers just floating them all around the map. Meanwhile, the Mutalists from the Purple Zerg are just going to clean up business. Douche Nukem still building nothing but Queens and upgrading his missile attacks. Nice. That seems, that seems like a good strategy to me. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up the units lost tab right now, Danny, because I want to see who's winning. Douche Nukem is in first place with 3,500. However, Purple Zerg, he's right, he's hot on his heels. I don't know, with these queens, he's certainly not going to get the units lost one. But, you know, resources definitely could happen. Oh, it could happen for sure. Let's see what, let's see. I'm watching these, uh, oh, they're about to run into this mass stalker. <laughs> this is not going to be good for those queens. Get out of there, boys. Oh, God, they're going to go straight up. They're going to go heads up with them. Actually, uh, they are by... I don't think they're not armored. Queens are not armored, so they don't get that bonus damage. And look at that healing action. Well, the, well, they're sort of healing. Not that well, but they are healing here and there. And uh, I don't know. Here comes Blue Terran. Will he land? He's going to land next to Stalkers. God, Vikings built like butter versus Stalkers. But I guess they did contribute a little bit. They're all going to go down. The Mutas are coming in here, and those Stalkers paid for themselves easily. Yes, but maybe we were wrong in what we thought Orange or Relative Wind was doing because if you look at the Gosu tab, he is now firmly in control. He's, he is after that JPEG of a trophy. He did lose a lot of stalkers there, a whole bunch of stalkers. Absolutely. What is uh, the Big S doing? You see he's got Seeker missiles upgrading. And, uh, and pr just looks like he's uh, getting all the Raven upgrades. That sounds great. Uh, we've barely seen any Ravens in any of our casts. By the way, we got Red Terran rolling into green into Taco Tico's base. Taco Tico's running out right now. He doesn't have any blink or any charge upgrades. So these Marines could out-micro them the entire time. He needs to pull back, though, as he's just letting himself get shot for no reason. All right, end of that altercation. Did you call him Taco Tico? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. Like, you're not even, we're not even close to his name anymore. We do see yeah. Ravens. Four Ravens are on the way for the Big S, so we were right. He is going to pump out some Ravens, and that's sure to win him the game. Absolutely. I mean, I've seen... Uh, Tico oh. Taco is now moving in with his uh, Stalkers and Zealot. He's blocking his Zealots with his Stalkers. Nice use of his army there. Uh, stemming up those Marines, and that's going to force that army right back. Wow, nice, nice wow. work by uh, Tico Taco. Taco, Taco Tico. Tico. <laughs> Taco Tico. Oh, Bay, you better run, Taco Tico. This force is overwhelming, but luckily, Red Terran pulled back, uh, leaving these Mutalisks uh, vulnerable. Uh, yeah, there we go. And now the Mutalisks are going to get annihilated again. It's the same old song and dance that we see over and over. Uh, your team just not working together, which, you know, is pretty entertaining. Why does it got to be my team? I haven't seen your team together yet. Well, they don't really have any units right now. Uh, only small armies in each person's base. I've got to say, Mass Stalker seems to be all Relative Wind has in mind. And he's got so many gateways, he could choke a horse. Choke a horse? <laughs> what does that even mean? It doesn't make any sense, Danny. And uh, these players are absolutely terrible. I want to see how those Ravens are going to get used. And Douche Nukem is not giving up on this Queen strategy as he's slowly moving them across the map. I guess he wants to get better positioning for something. Yeah, that's not a really good spot there. They Queens do not move well without that creep. You don't want them to be anywhere without the creep, but they're just kind of moving into the big S's base, uh, I guess, to back up these siege tanks. I don't know. I give up on my team. Yeah, I would totally give up on them. The big S does have a total of four Ravens at this time, and they do have all their upgrades. They've just been sitting here simmering up with some energy, so hopefully we'll see some... That's a lot of Ravens already, three. Um, maybe he's going... Do you have a Raven army? I see eight oh, Ravens nice. right now, so and three more in production. So that is crazy. That is craziness on the Ravens. Love it. Mass Ravens. Excellent. Meanwhile, <laughs> uh, Douche Nukem, the story of the game, is just up Bissell Attacks level three, Ground Armor level three. He's just pumping those queens up. I mean, they look. Pr I'm pretty scared of them right now. They're pretty beasty. And uh, just keep moving that super highway down. 
and uh, maybe he's going to lead it to orange here. But he's going to run head first into all those stalkers again. So it's going to play out just like it did before. He's going to get killed. Yeah, but here come those ravens. Ravens with a nice point defense drone could really make it so those queens could tear up those stalkers. No, don't let the ravens run right into the stalkers. Okay, good, good. And uh, that's sort of a nice mothership tactic but there by Big S. I like that. Yeah, he's kind of using his uh, command center to block there. Really, though, he was just moving it over to this area where uh, Relative Wind had expanded. He wasn't aware that it was unavailable, and he's going to lose it now. I guess uh, the Big S is not a pro with these auto with these uh, with these auto turrets. Uh, no. All the mass raven strategies I've seen, you just drop those down in the mineral line. You drop like seven or eight th of those down, and it automatically melts everything. Uh, yeah. Let's see if he tries that later. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I think I might be a couple seconds ahead of you. I'm at 20, uh, 45, 2145. I'm sorry. All right, meanwhile, this massive amount of Mutilus and Zerglings running right into those relative wind stalkers. Just kind of back and forth, back and forth. I think with the point of, couple point defense drones, they could easily take down those uh, stalkers. So I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Not working together. That's the theme work of this game, Danny. No teamwork. No teamwork. I wasn't aware you were supposed to play the game with other people. I, that doesn't make any... Is there a teamwork tab? I don't see it, so it must not matter. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. Looks like Purple's expanded once again uh, down here in the bottom right hand. This is going to be sort of an open, uh, kind of vulnerable position. But against such noobs, who knows if they'll even scout over there again. Right, that, and yeah. I, know, I know he's on my team, but I don't appreciate him building in some area that was clearly claimed by the Pink Terran. That is where he, Pink Terran wants to build his barracks, and he shouldn't be building hatcheries there. It's true. That's that's not really very gentlemanly. No, I agree. I don't I don't approve. That's like cannon rushing somebody's base and then uh, taking that spot for yourself. It's just yeah. Salt wound, Me insult to injury. So meanwhile, we have 87 marines <laughs> and, and five ghosts rolling out over here. Here we go. They're gonna come rolling in, and really, this is a completely superior force. We see Mass Phoenix is being built right now by Green Protoss. They're gonna move right in. I mean, with this critical mass of Marines right now, anything that comes in will be melted like butter, and that's what we see playing out right now. Everything's stemmed up. Only a couple medevacs here to heal, but it doesn't really matter. That's so many freaking Marines. Yeah, there's a ridiculous amount of Marines. Meanwhile, we have the Ravens dropping all the point defense drones in the mineral line of Relative Wind's expansion here. Meanwhile, Relative Wind Stalkers and uh, Yellow uh, Terran has moved in on Red, te tearing him up. He's losing everything now. Uh, but he did cause a decent amount of damage to <laughs> Tico Taco. Is that what we're calling him, Tico Taco? Tico Taco. And we got some Thors from the Pink Terran showing up. Whew. Wow. The, the noob, this is killer. Oh, here we go. Queens versus Stalkers. Go, Queens, go! They want to stay on the creep, though, and the mutas are going to come in here with the harass. Now there's teamwork happening. There's two armies engaging one army. Oh, my goodness. Let's see how it plays out. God, that's a lot of stalkers. They're going to rip through this army like butter, and the army of Thor is just waiting to back them up behind. This is some really poor micro. <laughs> really poor micro. Yeah, the Thor is behind the stalkers. That's good stuff right there. That's what you're looking for. Meanwhile, the Ravens are backing up. The Queens have to run away. <laughs> it was just too much. Where were the point defense drones? Look at this play. They're right, they're right down there. The auto turrets are down there. I feel like I'm watching a Tower D. Like, all these units have to move through this channel as these towers shoot them as they walk by. Very, very fun. Yeah, absolutely. The Queens finally have to make a stand. The Stalkers blink in. We got auto turrets going down. How about you throw out a point defense drone for those Stalkers? No. More and more auto turrets that are just getting melted. Oh, that is, that is good stuff. Wow. <laughs> I've got, I have no words for uh, what just happened there. Meanwhile, more and more queens from Douche Nukem. I'm um, just eventually, uh, well, just kind of melting those stalkers. He's pretty much out of stalkers now. He's just keeping up with those queens. There are those Thors there, so we'll see exactly how well the Thors handle the queens. I'm guessing pretty well. These Thors are killing everything right now. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Yeah, now Thor's uh, having a little bit more trouble with the he roaches there, so that's actually probably a decent grab on those roaches, so Thor's are going to go down. And I think Douche Nukem is, he's got six more queens in production, so we can't expect anything but queens from him, I guess. No, he's tearing house with those queens, too. They mean business. And uh, with all those queens in the game, I'd like to see that super highway be covering the entire map. But he hasn't really been working on that as much as he should. Uh, it's covering a fair amount, I would say. Uh, pretty much what it's not covering is covered with the... Uh, Enemy buildings, so in all fairness, oh, uh, we got Matt. 
We got Mass Stalkers harassing this high yield expansion of Duke Nukem. And by mass, I mean six. But I just get so excited. And I've been saying mass all game. I assume everything's a mass now. Go to tear up that ad expansion, no problem. Queens are on their way, trickling in one at a time. Excellent. Very good, very good. This this has been some of the best micro. Some of the best micro. And auto turrets aren't the only thing they have, but I guess he doesn't really like the point defense drone because it doesn't say that it does damage. That's true. It doesn't do damage, so it's not any good. Exactly. These, these Ravens are rolling out once again. Right now, Danny, I'm at 28-17. And they're rolling out right now with this orbital command. Where is his going to be his next position to strike? Oh, it looks like he's going to take this expansion that he ruined earlier. A nice insult to injury from him. Yeah, that's good. Actually, wait, no, I decided that I was against that sort of thing, aren't I? Didn't I decide oh. that? Yeah, we're against uh, that. That's bad. You're against it. I love it. And right oh, okay. now we have a battle between these roaches and stalkers. Stalkers, though, going to completely outnumber here. Yeah, those roaches get a nice concave. Uh, uh, I think it's going to come out pretty even here. Actually, the, it looks like the roaches are going to end up being the win. looks like I see the stalkers have du dual upgrades, armor and weapons, up to two. So that makes the difference there for sure. For sure. Let's take a look at that units lost tab real quick because this game has been just army, army after army. Whew, relative away. wind. Crushing Gosh. it. He All right, relative wind. <laughs> take down this email address. FTWbroadcasting at gmail.com. We'll send you a JPEG of a trophy. If you get over 30,000 units lost by the time this thing's over, I'll send you two JPEGs of trophies. Wow. Are the same trophy or uh, different trophies? Different JPEGs. They might have a watermark from the website I lifted them from, but well, uh, what more could you ask for? <laughs> we saw. The, I just watched these queens annihilate those stores, and finally, but then the stalkers show up. Uh, back, Douche Nukem always just, you know, pretty uh, indecisive. He's been back and forth and back and forth. The big S says, "I have 8,000 mineral," or says, "Have 8,000 minerals red and use them wisely." What? What? So big S can't use 8,000 minerals wisely? Not to pump out, ma uh, he, he's got a gas problem. You see uh -oh. how Im imbalanced his uh, minerals are to gas? It's because he's only going mass ravens, and that's quite okay with me because he has got about 15 rolling across the map right now. Headed to the next location. Got to back up these auto turrets on the ground, no doubt with additional auto turrets. Yeah, just throw more auto turrets. And make sure not to drop a point defense drone against the stalkers. Please don't ever do that. Nope. Nope, there's no... There it goes! Point defense. Oh no, that was seeker missiles. Seeker missiles. Yeah, seeker missiles. So uh, you don't see those very often. I like seeker missiles. There they go, moving very slowly, seeking out. Not. Oh, that last one's not gonna make it. Oh, but it, pretty effective. Oh yes. Look at these. I love the oh, idle so animation of the ravens. <laughs> they they do a barrel roll. That's pretty awesome. You rarely see them, so you rarely get to pay attention to them. And the seeker missiles, by the way, were super poorly used. Oh, yeah. All 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 targeted up on the same target. Same target. Yeah, he thinks Seeker Missiles are awesome. They are awesome if you use them better. Relative Wind has left the game, it looks like. Like, sad, uh, saddened by losing to the, all those mass ravens, especially when they were so poorly uh, micro. Do you finally, uh, but we got a huge, huge force from Purple and Red over here. Mass Marines, mass roaches, and this could be an FTW push right here. It definitely could. Pink Terran is out. He's out of thing. He's got to tap out. TKO. Why does he have so many command centers down here to bottom left, Danny? Is he going to planetary fortress up for like a last stand? I don't know. They're all orbital commands, though, so probably not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would have been epic if we could have seen that. Oh, well, it, my, my team is doomed right now. I don't see what they're going to do. we got Thor's action up here in the top left, Danny. Check it out. Uh, we got the swords just tearing up those ravens. It's getting completely surrounded by the queens, but it just doesn't really matter that much. Uh, I I like uh, Douche Nukem's queen, mass queen idea. I have seen him healing. I have not seen him healing. The healing be very effective, though. Yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. It hasn't been mass healing. It has. He hasn't been spamming it enough. And he's not. He's not quick on the draw. I mean, if you focus down one queen at a time, the queen goes away in one second. It'd be almost impossible to heal. That's true. Meanwhile, we have pink is completely to or up here. Or uh, relative wind's gonna get torn up. No problem. Blue wants more gas, as he needs more gas for more ravens. However many ravens he has, he only got he only has four ravens right now. Uh, got completely tore up by those stores. He had over 20 earlier, so that's sad. It is, Danny. If we pull up this resources tab, at least everybody in the game has uh, thousands of unused resources. So there's a lot of potential for more units to be lost as this game progresses. Yeah, I hope they just uh, use those resources. Maybe I don't know. Build some units. No. 
got to save up. Got to save up in case a recession occurs. Yeah, you want to make sure you get that economic victory. Exactly. That's good. Exactly. All right, so my team is just looking like they're doomed. The only one still in the game here is Yellow Terran, and he's got a mass of Thors here, which are going to try to make a last stand here from the high ground. Are they going to be able to get enough free shots to make this happen? A few SCVs to back him up on the repair sure would help. Yeah, absolutely. If he loses one. He's going to have to back up there. They finally can. He's got his own one of his own Raven. It's not enough, I don't think, though. Finally, those queens are going to have to pull back. So I don't know. If, <laughs> if my team just converged on these last, like, five Thors, it would be over. It looks like that's what they were thinking about doing. That's what they're doing right now, Danny. And I think these Thors are doomed. I like that. They are doomed. Not doomed, but doomed. Oh, yeah. Dude. The more O's makes it more serious. True. Uh, so we finally got the SCVs in there on the repair on those remaining Thors, hiding behind the factory and the barracks like cowards. You hate to see that. Meanwhile, yep. the Queen's just going to town using the... Well, it looks like they lost view uh, at this point, so... Uh, Yellow, I will give it to Yellow. He's being really obnoxious and difficult to deal with here with this wall <laughs> off. He is. He's got the SCVs up front, tanking it up. Tank, tank, tank. Meanwhile, this Queen's just going to town, murdering them. The Queen's right now have 3-3-3 upgrades. And the Ravens from Big Ass coming here, being a huge factor, I guess. Oh, they're getting pumped full of missiles by these Thors. How much will they be able to do? Seeker missile after Seeker missile. Will these Thors fall? I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. Yeah, that was not very good. Very good of him. I liked how he kept all his Ravens nice and grouped together to facilitate the splash on the Thors. You know, the magic box principle applies to, um, it applies to ravens as well as mutalisks. If you group anything together up in the air, Thors will take them down. Yeah, I guess so. Meanwhile, there's, look, another mass of marines coming in the back door, so that'll be the end of these Thors, no doubt. Finally, one, two, and then the third one will go down. And he pulls out another, but instantly down. These Thors have massive upgrades, 3-3 three, three across the board, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I, no, it's not. I mean, these Thors are straight up like a boss right now, but there's too many units. There's too many units, and the stem up happening right there. This final Thor is just going to completely eat it. I tell you what would be even more effective would be Hellions than Thors at this point, but I think it's going to be too late for that. As two FTW Thors are rolling up the left side of the map, I think this is going to be uh, Kragus's final stand. Yeah, he, try and, uh, he should try and kill some of those SCVs, get a couple kills. The Roaches are tearing him down. And in the end, he's got, like, nothing left. He's got a couple random buildings floating around. I don't know why he doesn't just tap out. Perhaps, or perhaps his plan is to just pump out more units and steal that Gosu tab. If you look at it, he is real close to stealing it. Oh, man. Oh, wow. This is neck on neck. Guys, there's only one winner here, so make it happen. Spend some of your money, and that'll help you win the units lost tab. Yeah, absolutely. He's got a, he's got a Rax here. He's pumping out Marines. I mean... Hopefully he can get them out there to uh, to just just he just needs it looks like about out 700 more or the resources lost pump out those marines hopefully he can uh, he can get it. oh he is being revealed I don't think he's gonna have it enough he doesn't have any supply he's only got the one marine it's not gonna be enough oh. heartbreak that is heartbreaking indeed oh my gosh what a terrible story hold on there's a Rax here from Kragus it looks like that oh jeez. Not going to happen. Right now, I'm at the 3940 mark, Danny. I don't know if we're synced up right now, but this is basically, th this game's basically over here, folks. Basically, there's uh, one refinery left. <laughs> oh, and uh, and an assimilator from uh, Tico Taco, Taco Tico. Taco Tico. Taco Tico. And like uh, those Ravens, I got to say, this is a Mass Ravens replay. We did ask for it, but I tell you, I was a little disappointed at the performance of the Mass Ravens. Yeah, I, I didn't. I, like, I was much more interested in the Mass Queens. I was much more interested, too. But you know what? It's always neat to see something new, and, uh, you know, that was pretty cool. Ladies and gentlemen, I've got an important announcement to make. When you send us replays, please, we got an, we've got about 40 or 50 nukes replays just sitting in our email right now. Sorry, guys, no more nukes replays for now. We need other kinds of replays. Get creative. Uh, we just have an abundance of nukes replays. Yeah, pretty much. Meanwhile, we have Douche Nukem now attacking his own allies, Ravens, because he's so bored. I don't know why they're annoyed that the that their opponent has not left yet. I don't know why they don't just go get their opponent. Their opponent has been revealed, so...
This is completely ridiculous. Are they just toying with them? I think they're just having so much fun uh, with the fact that they built these unit comps that they just kind of want to sit around and play with it some more. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, like my long distance gas mining. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Wow, that is that is some distance mining. <laughs> that is wow, awesome. Is Holy crap. <laughs> that is great. I love that. Well, he's got 85 of them, so they will gather at a fairly fairly increased rate. Yeah, fairly increased. I, li I like how he's jacking his allies' resources <laughs> with this, though. It's really, really clutch in this situation. It's important. It's important to take your allies' resources whenever possible. It looks like Relative Wind has plans to come back right now as he's got his nexus two nexuses building down here in the bottom left to make that three nexuses and the, the creep is creeping in quick though and uh, i think douche nukem's gonna spot this kid fast yeah absolutely he's gonna looks like he's getting that creep super highway the way you wanted like you know now that the game is over and it doesn't matter yes but well, tons of nexus <laughs> is that he's putting down he does not want to end this game he <laughs> wants to make it last because he just that's just being a jerk i really kind of like it <laughs> meanwhile douche nukem now jacking minerals from <laughs> From uh, Red Terran to, oh, Douche Nukem, I love you. <laughs> I like him too. That's such an awesome name. By the way, Danny, are you excited about the new Douche, du douche Nukem, Duke Nukem game that's going to come out? Have you seen the previews? Uh, you mean the one from 10 years ago? No, the new one. The, they're making a new one. There's a bunch of previews on YouTube. Check it out. Yeah, I know. It's the game that's been, at, you know, the game that's been in development for 15 years. Yes, exact. Oh, that, that's what you meant. Yeah, that's what I meant. You're absolutely right. These auto turrets are going to town, though, on this Nexus. They should come down pretty quick. I mean, if you have, like, 40 turrets, uh, it can get the job done. Yeah. No longer any forces. Game over. Epicness. Close, close Gosu tab, though. Very close. Man, was it. Oh, relative wind. Really, I think he pulled it out there at the end when he built those addic additional Nexuses. And that really pushed him forward to make sure he locked in that victory. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you've seen here, if you like the extreme noobage and ridiculous tactics, you can head on over to our YouTube channel. Just click that link down there in the bottom left. If you'd like to subscribe to our channel, you can click in the center of the heart. Danny does a sick dance every time you click that, so please do. And on the bottom right-hand corner, that's a Trollcast playlist link. Just click that. It's got all of our Trollcasts together in one playlist for you. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you in our next cast.